Do you wanna see my new favorite t-shirt? Yeah, I bet you do, so stick around, buckle in, let's get started. So welcome back to Low Luxury, everyone, or should I should I say ERD Luxury, because that, that's what the channel is at this point. I know what you're here for, I know what you're into. Yes, if you've been rolling along with me up to this point, you are probably as big a fan of the brand Enfant Riche de Prime as I am. I have gone so deep down the ERD rabbit hole, and they are now solidly, I would say, my favorite brand currently designing. And hopefully you've been following along with all of the pickups I've been doing, all the videos I've made about them, and today we have three new pieces from them. All three are t-shirts, and this video is going to culminate in my new favorite ERD piece, Probably my, my new favorite t-shirt period in my entire closet. So let's start breaking these down. And trust me, these are only going to get better throughout the video, culminating with a brand new ERD shirt that I bet you haven't seen before. But first, we've got to start off with this standard. We've got a nice little logo tee here, ERD at the front. But this isn't just a simple logo tee. This, just this, I probably wouldn't buy because it's all about the back right here. This crazy print, obviously it's that running with scissors motif, ERD, they love doing weird, creepy stuff with kids in the artwork. Not, not real ones, Balenciaga, I see you. But we've got this shirt here. It's actually in a size extra small, and you can see the sizing later. I wouldn't say it fits like a true to size extra small, because that would be like super tight on me, but it is definitely a bit smaller than my usual ERD shirt. It even has a bit of a natural crop to it, I would say. It has their signature wide neckline, almost like a boat neck thing. Like, it's a much, much wider neckline than most brands do. And one other thing that makes this one interesting is that the fabrication, it's much more of like a, a vintage classic cotton t-shirt kind of material. Like, ERD at this point is super known for their paper thin t-shirts, but this one is, is a much thicker fabric. Not stiff, it's still quite soft, but it's, it's not that classic ERD paper thin either. But anyway, I kind of like the subtlety to the branding. It's like a blue for the ERD logo, and it actually doesn't spell out the full brand name anywhere. You just have ERD, so you get that kind of like curiosity of what is this, and it starts to look almost like a more classic like punk band t-shirt than anyone, anything else, which I'm super into because that's, that's the scene that I came from. So this one's just like a classic everydayer, you know what I mean? One you just throw on, go out and about with, but now we gotta move on. We gotta step it up on the grail scale. I think I just invented that. That's patented now. None of you other YouTubers, fashion YouTubers, the grail scale is mine. I own that. But anyway, let's move on. This next t-shirt is one of the hit pieces off the record Enfant Riche de Prime 4. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. This, of course, is the high risk t-shirt. Probably one of the most popular t-shirts the brand has ever put out. You see this thing everywhere, usually fake, like the fakes of this one. Whoo boy, they are littering the internet. But this one, it, it's a classic for a reason. Obviously, you're seeing the, the through line of the subject matter with this, and it's kind of gonna carry through more just in the like offensiveness camp into the last one. Make sure you stick around. The last one's great, even better than this, but let's talk about this for a second. High risk, children without a conscience, and then this teddy bear at the bottom. It's got that like classic, I don't know, like pulp fiction, not the movie, but like literally like pulp paperback fiction kind of font to it. It reminds me of one of those old book covers or like a old Spielberg movie fonts or something. And if you look at the tag, it is actually IV4. So I believe this is from the fourth ever ERD collection that they did. And it's on this really interesting kind of like herringbone tag. But this one, it is in their classic paper thin kind of fabrication. You can actually see the, the peach of my finger coming through if I put my hand in it. And it is also lightly distressed with that early ERD staple that they did in so many pieces where they kind of like sh give it a, a shotgun distressing kind of look where you've got all these pinhole pricks all over the piece on the front and back. But this is just one of those attention getting pieces that really made ERD stand out early on and that made people take notice because at least at the time, nobody else was doing graphics like this. It just had a point of view that was unmatched, especially at the time. And now we have made it to the one that I am most excited for, but 
we're gonna wait on that because I want to tell you a story first. I bought this from the ERD web store. It's actually the first piece I've ever bought directly from Enfant Riche de Prime, and their packaging, what they sent with, was sick. Like this packaging was better than most of the online boutiques you'd order from like a Farfetch or something, or es yeah, Essence even. It was nicer than Essence. Yeah, so first of all, uh, your bill, it comes in a branded envelope with the ERD logo print across it, and that's actually uh, debossed, so that each letter sticks out. You know, that's not cheap. Also, it comes, this is very Chrome Hearts, so now we're hearkening back to my original video where I compared ERD to Chrome Hearts. Uh, ERD, they send you a little matchbox, again with the logo on it. It's all black with white print, and then inside, it's a full working matchbox. You've got wooden matches with white tips inside. Yet another really cool detail, and I've already seen people trying to sell these on Grailed for like 75 bucks for just the matchbox. I don't know if anyone's gonna buy it, but it's cool to have. It's a nice little tchotchke, you know? And finally, they wrapped the entire piece up in a ribbon, and it's like a really, really nice ribbon. It seems like a very similar kind of um, construction to the neck tags that they use, actually. So it's like double-sided, it's kind of like a, a ivory white beige and black and again it's got the logo tape uh logo print all through it tied with a nice little bow it was just like really really good high level professional packaging now, i don't know what i was expecting i was expecting their packaging to just be more more punk but i'm pleasantly surprised at how nice it was but now we finally made it the moment you've been waiting for or that you have skipped to and it'll be over here right your little playhead is so you skipped it all the way to over here anyway my new favorite t-shirt. Boom. So this is actually a brand new one from their most recent drop on their website. I think it only dropped on their website. And this is like a classic, classic ERD graphic. Graphic is a fitting word. It's as graphic as it gets without being, you know, over the top, if you know what I mean. But this mm, classic, classic as paper thin as paper can be for a t-shirt and like super faded vintage black. They tumbled this thing a million times over and just get a good close look at that graphic. I don't even need to point out every element that they're doing right here, but they've just got every single piece of this dialed in. It's, it's doing exactly what they want it to do and it's working so well. And this one, I snapped it up as soon as they posted it on the website. I have to assume they made a very, very small amount of these because they were gone pretty much instantly. And it's just so good. This one, if this doesn't become a new ERD Grailed, I'm going to be absolutely amazed. Did I call it ERD Grailed? ERD Grail. This one, listen, I'm not putting it in like a, a plexiglass case or anything, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear this one with pride. And when I do wear it with pride, everyone's going to be looking at me like there's something very, very wrong with me, as, as they probably should. But yeah, that's all of the new ERD t-shirt pickups. But before we leave this video, you think I'm going to leave you before we try these on? Absolutely not. So let's take a look here. Let's try them on. A little montage. Let's go. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I love all these new pieces so much. I just love these ERD pickups. They're, they're a little bit of joy in my life. Anyway, take a look at the video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.